So we made it. After three failed attempts to leave Dubai, I finally touched down in Spain. And in case you guys didn't know where I was, I'm sure quite a lot of you recognized the airport at the end of my last video. I'm in Ibiza, and that is gonna be my base for the next three months. First things first, I need to find a certain someone who I have not seen for five months. Let's go and find him. Look who's here! Come on! Five long months, and he's back. How's Ireland? Very, very warm. Very warm. Sunny. So if anyone was wondering who this handsome chap is, he is my cameraman. We've been working together for the past year. It's been longer than a year now, and he's been helping me with my YouTube, my Instagram, and everything else. Usually being like two weeks on, two weeks off, that's how we were doing it, but then obviously coronavirus came about, the Dubai borders were shut, so there was no way for me to see him. It's been a long stretch of... Five solid long months. Yeah, minimal vibes, but we're here, we're back in business, and we're gonna have a very, very sick summer. Hola! Welcome to mi casa, Casa de Miguel, for the next few months. This is the cosy little IG crib which I will be staying at. We've got the living room here, nice bright white settings. We have a kitchen, decent kitchen, nice modern. And then we have the bedrooms. We have bedroom number two. This is the spare bedroom. This is obviously Louis' bedroom. Louis got his own bathroom. We have the ensuite bathroom here. Got some ladders there, just for when uh, Rob lips it stays and he needs some assistance getting into bed. <laughs> and then we have my bedroom. One of the main reasons why I was sold on this place, and it is the rooftop terrace. We've got some bathing area there. We have a hot tub here with many different settings. Mm. Seated area, a little chill out area here. And then we also have a shower, fridge around here, nice little bar area here. Now I'm gonna go and pick up a car. I've arranged to have a car throughout the entire summer. It's absolutely essential in my opinion to have a car if you are staying here for a long period of time because getting around the island without one, just using taxis, it's really expensive and it's just a pain in the ass. They don't have Uber here, so uh, just trying to hail a taxi in the middle of nowhere, it's just not happening. So let's go and pick it up. So just about to collect the car and honestly, I couldn't think of a better car that is more suited for me and for this island. Here we have the Fiat Panda. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. My God, look at that absolute specimen. Only kidding, guys. This is the car we have. The Jeep Wrangler. Couldn't think of a better whip to be driving around the island. There is gonna be quite a lot of off-road activity, so this will be able to take it. Also, if we have guests, we've got four door, so we can fit in five people. Maybe someone illegally in the back. So after about half an hour, we've successfully managed to get the roof down. Highly doubt it's going to go back up again, to be honest with you. But it needs to be done. So we're all set, good to go, full tank. Let's go and explore the island. Safety first. So we just touched down at Calabasa Beach. The beach club itself was fully booked up, so we just came around the corner. We found a nice little spot on the rocks to chill out and have a little swim. The best thing about CBBC <laughs> is that when you pay for parking, you get a free beer. That's very true.
Wow. Haven't seen water that blue for a while. So if anyone's wondering why I'm in Ibiza out of all the places in the world where I could be, well, that goes back to the end of 2019. The end of last year, I said to myself, right, 2020, this is the plan. First five months, I'm gonna spend in Dubai. Then I'm gonna head over to Ibiza. I'm gonna spend the summer there. I'm gonna turn 30 in August. I'm gonna have the summer of my life with all my best friends, live it up. And then after that, probably go back to Dubai or London. You know, I'm just gonna go with the flow now. This year has been a tricky one. There's been many obstacles thrown my way, your way as well. The coronavirus not being ideal. Getting into a serious relationship, not ideal also. But it is what it is. I'm still trying to stick to my plan, my original plan, as much as possible. It is going to be a weird summer. In fact, in a way, it's almost a blessing in disguise that the clubs are closed and there's going to be kind of less tourists. It's going to be more of a chilled vibe. I'm going to get to experience Ibiza like never before. This is the only summer where it's going to be like this, most likely. So it's going to be an interesting one and I'm going to enjoy it as much as I possibly can do. We are at Nirvana Beach Gym in Played in Boston. I'm gonna get a quick back and bicep workout in. Absolutely love this gym. Half of it is indoors, the other half is outdoors. Breathtaking view of the seas and some nice shrubbery as well. The thing I like about this place is there seems to be no rules. Like even after all the madness which has been going on this year, it's still exactly the same. Like this place hasn't changed over the past few years when I've been coming here. Like the equipment's like, it's not the best. Certainly not compared to Dubai. Doesn't look that clean, it's a bit scruffy probably hasn't been sanitized since 1994 but I don't care I like it you come here do what you want take your top off you don't have to train in a mask and couldn't be happier Hey guys, so I'm here with Big Mike. Today he's gonna to be teaching us how to fill up a diesel Jeep Wrangler. So first things first, you need to somehow open the, uh, the cap of the uh, pump, which <laughs> I'm struggling with. So half an hour later, he's managed to get the pump into the, the nozzle. <laughs> Why shouldn't they just fucking pump? Maybe you have to pay first. I've been pumping it for the past five minutes and it keeps taking it all. It's a thirsty one. A bit more expensive than Dubai. 95 euros. 95 euros. I used some optimal diesel though. Wow. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? My name is Carla. Carla. Nice to meet you, Carla. And she needs a lift. What's your doggy called? Dai. Ah. Thailandia. Ah. <laughs> I live here in Ibiza. Do you? Yes. Nice. The best life. We're staying here all summer. All the summer? Yeah. Yes. Where? Here in the center? Yeah, well, no, we just... In Barca. We, Barca. Make, we make videos and just live a pretty ridiculous life, really. Uh -huh. It's very enjoyable. Can you teach us Spanish? Uh, hola, como estas? Hello, how are you? Yes. Uh, si. Sí. What's good? Bien. Bien. Todo bien. Where are you from? Thank you very much, guys. No problem. Ah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, thank bye, you. bye bye. No bye. problem. Thank you. Lovely lady. If you ever need a lift around the island of Ibiza, make sure to message Mike on Instagram. Just DM him and me and him will come and pick you up every single day we're doing lifts just to help out the people of Ibiza and just get them yeah, from A to B. It is going to be a tough summer so 
and we're not charging, obviously. Yeah. Max has filled the car up, 95 euros, <laughs> so if you're willing to take advantage of us, we'll let you. <laughs> so touchdown San Antonio after a very pleasant drive. Louis, how was my driving out of 10? <laughs> you can say 10. Probably a six. It was, uh, Could be guys, if you want a nice personal vlogging camera to walk around with, I highly recommend you uh, invest in this. 4,000 pound. It weighs seven kilograms in <laughs> It's a shoulder workout every time Louis filming me. <laughs> so we're just chilling out here in San Antonio. In the background, we have Cafe Del Mar and Mambo's, and it is absolutely dead. They're both closed, unfortunately. Very eerie and strange sight, particularly this time of year. We are literally in the middle, well, nearly in the middle of July, and there's very few people about. Will they be opening? Who knows? There's still a lot of uncertainty around the island at the moment. Even just after driving around today and walking around, it looks like things are opening, but it's, it's not gonna be nowhere near as busy as it has been in the previous years, I don't think. It's actually a nice temperature. It's nice to be outside and not to be absolutely melting. Dubai, we're talking about temperatures where it's like 41, 42 degrees Celsius plus mad humidity here. It's nice, 30 degrees warm. A cool breeze flowing through my long, luscious locks. Gonna take in the sunset and then uh, go get some food. I think Golden Buddha is calling. I think we need to get me a beer from over here. Louis needs his one pint a day to get through. So we'll go down. I'm still remaining sober. I have to hit the six month mark of sobriety. Sobri sobriety, sobriety. That's probably a word. And then once that's done, who knows? But I have to do my six months. I said I would do it, so I'm gonna do it. Hey Mike. Hey what? What's in your nonce bag? In here? Yeah. I've got um, 200 grams of protein, uh, I've got 150 grams of rice and some vegetables, just in case I get peckish on my way to, uh, to my destination. Do you know what? I thought it was actually gonna be really dead. And then we just sat here, and literally after eight o'clock, the place is absolutely rammed. around the corner from Bambos is a lovely little spot called Golden Pudder. Perfect for drinks and for food. So we're just out here chilling, relaxing, taking in the sights. I've ordered myself a chicken Thai curry, which is absolutely ideal right now. So we're gonna eat up, chill for a little bit longer and then drive back to Leiden Bossa. So just got back home now, I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been a very successful first day. I've got a feeling it's gonna be many, many more enjoyable days to come over the next few months. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.